King Asa fails to trust God and faces conflict. King Asa had ruled the kingdom of Judah for 35 years. In the 15th year of his reign, the vast Cushite army had attacked Judah, but Asa had trusted God for victory. The nation had promised to obey God with all their hearts and had enjoyed 20 years of peace. Now the Israelites were divided into two nations. King Asa ruled the two Jewish tribes in the southern kingdom of Judah while King Basha ruled the ten Jewish tribes in the northern kingdom of Israel. In the 36th year of King Asa's reign, King Basha gathered his army and moved south to the border of Judah. Basha had made an alliance with the king of Aram and gathered a powerful force to threaten King Asa. King Basha's troops moved into the border territory of the tribe of Benjamin to the city of Ramah which controlled a main trade route in and out of Judah. Basha's army took the city and fortified it. They now controlled the border so no one could go in and out of Judah. King Asa needed to recapture Ramah but knew that would be difficult while King Basha had the support of the powerful King Ben-Hadad of Aram and his army. Instead of asking God for help and trusting him, Asa devised his own plan. Earlier in his reign Asa had given silver and gold to the temple treasury. He gave orders for the temple treasury to be raided, and gold and silver to be gathered and sent to King Ben-Hadad of Aram as a bribe. The temple treasure arrived in Damascus with a message from King Asa, Let there be a treaty between Judah and Aram as there was between my father and your father. I am sending you silver and gold. Break your treaty with King Basha of Israel so he will have to withdraw. Ben Hadid took the gold and silver belonging to God and agreed to a treaty. He immediately gathered his army to attack Israel. Commanders and troops were dispatched to conquer the towns of Ijon, Dan, Abel Maim, and other nearby places where food was stored. When Basha heard that he was being attacked in the north he withdrew his troops in the south to defend his land. King Asa moved in to regain Ramah and plunder the building stones and timber Basha had left. He used these materials to fortify the border towns. God was not pleased that Asa had robbed the temple treasury. He sent the prophet Hanani to declare, As you relied on the king of Aram and not on the Lord God, the army of Aram has escaped from your control. God gave you victory over the mighty Cushite army when you trusted him and he always strengthens those who are fully committed to him. You have done a foolish thing and from now on you will be at war. King Asa was so enraged with God's message that he put the prophet Hanani in prison. He became arrogant and brutally oppressed the people he ruled over. Three years later King Asa was afflicted with a severe disease in his feet. He turned to doctors to heal him but there was no cure. He refused to ask God for help and died two years later. King Asa was buried in a tomb and a huge fire was lit in his honor. When King Asa sought God's help he enjoyed victory and peace, but when he tried to solve problems without God's help he faced great trials and tribulations. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. Share and leave a comment. Subscribe.